Hey, hey, friends, and welcome to my Twitch Sydney mini meetup and generosity slumber party vlog. For those of you that didn't know, over the weekend there was a Twitch Sydney mini meetup and I went straight after work to go and see as many Twitch Sydney friends as I could. And it was hosted by the peeps of the Twitch Sydney community and generosity for their slumber party. Gen Oz is a charity that hosts streaming events to raise money and showcase Australian talent. For this event, they were doing a slumber party of over 64 hours, and they invited a bunch of Twitch Sydney friends to celebrate. So anyway, um, we're at the meetup. That's, that's, that's probably about it, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, it's a red border. What does the red border mean? Red means reporting. Oh, that's very cool. That's called a histogram. A histogram. A histogram, yes. The histogram shows you the light levels across the whole scene. So the left side is your, uh, your shadow, your, your mid range and the right side is your. Wait, no, I screwed that up. I got it backwards. Ignore that. Anyway, if anything goes up higher than this, like you want kind of things in the middle, Average. that's properly exposed. Yes. Whoa. When you point at something that's bright, it's no, peaking. That's yeah, trying to peak. Anyway, hi, hi. We stayed at the meetup for about an hour before heading out to get some food because we were hungry. And we didn't go too far just to the pub across the road before returning to get some photo with friends at the Twitch wall and then heading upstairs to see the slumber party set up before grabbing some Twitch friends and heading into Chinatown to finish up the night. Because we were only stationed in Redfern for the meetup, it was only one stop over and a short walk to Chinatown. Even as Sydney locals, this was the first time Alk and I went to the Chinatown market, so of course we had to get some skewers, some Thai milk tea, and Alk got a whole squid on a stick. We just wandered around for a little bit and chatted with some friends, and it was a good way to catch up and finish the night, especially after a long day of work. Huge shout out to these lovely beans that kept us company. And of course, it wouldn't be a Twitch meetup without receiving some Twitch goodies, so Luge, this one is for you. On the way outside of the meetup, we were all handed a little Twitch goodie bag and inside we received a cup. It also came with a lid and a straw. We also got this little care package mesh thing and I will pull out its contents in a minute. Out of all of the things, this was probably one of my favorites. I now have three Twitch shirts and this is a different shade of purple and I actually really like it and it's quite soft and comfy, so it was good. And inside the mesh packaging, we have some lemon scented lotion a Twitch mask. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure what this was, but it looks like a bottle opener. My camera decides to focus on it. We got some Twitch branded hand sanitizer because you never know when you're gonna need that. And the last thing in the care package was this Twitch lip balm. Overall, it was a really, really good night and I had a lot of fun. So thanks to the Twitch community peeps for organizing it. On to day two, and this was the day that we were actually going to go be a part of the Generosity Slumber Party ourselves. Before we returned to the spot, we had a couple of things to pick up, including some tasty snacks and some coffee and food because we hadn't eaten that morning. And we did want to bring some snacks to share with the rest of the group while we were there. They had a remote segment playing when we arrived, so Alk and I sat on the ground and ate food until it was time to set up our station. And yes, one of the incentives was to shoot us with Nerf guns. We were originally going to do a cooking segment, but because of licensing reasons, we couldn't cook on site. And instead we decided to do some face painting. So huge shout out to Patty and Damo for being our victims for the segment. Per chat's request, we made them into Mario and Luigi, which really helped out because they had a Mario Kart segment later on. After our first attempts at face painting, no one else seemed to want to volunteer to get their face painted. So Alk and I ended up just painting each other's faces and we left the requests up to chat again. In the end, they decided that Alk was going to be a Pikachu and Kirby hybrid, which was cursed enough as it was. And when Alk got the chance to paint my face, I was to be a Vaporeon and Flareon mix. We did try to get some POV shots as well as include some segments from the stream itself, but it was a little bit hard to juggle everything while we were trying to paint each other's faces and raise money for charity. Of course, we did have some incentives like change the color of the paint, change the character, or shoot us with the Nerf guns, which Alk unfortunately did get a donation for. And let's just say the Nerf gun was pretty powerful.
I think we both had a lot of fun and I really hope that chat enjoyed our little face painting segment as well. And it was our first time being a part of the Gen Oz crew, so I was really excited to be a part of it. It wasn't too long before our hour segment was finished and this was our final result. Alk of course wanted to jump scare the camera and then we posed together for some pictures and for chat to be able to see what they turned us into. I think considering the fact that Alk and I don't usually do face painting, we did alright for our first official role. We did decide to stay a little bit longer after our segment was done and we took some photos out where we could get some natural light to post on social media. And we hung back to watch some other segments like Dominoes and Bandits and also keep Fred company as he ran the show. It was also raining quite a lot outside so we were waiting for a break in the weather so we could leave. I think it was overall a super cool event. I was so excited to see the behind the scenes and be in front of the camera with the crew and also to catch up with other creators and see what they got up to to raise money for charity. In the end, it was all for a good cause and it was a lot of fun. So thank you all Gen Oz team for including us and I hope to be a part of it next time. This vlog is just a mini event vlog. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little behind the scenes and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.